Khalil Gibran has a beautiful story. This single man has written so many beautiful stories that there seems to be no comparison in the whole history of man. This story is a very small story and that's where Khalil Gibran's beauty is. He does not write big stories that can be made into films. His stories are few lines, but penetrating to the very depths of men. The story is God created the world and He created everything else that was needed. He looked around and He felt that two things are missing, beauty and ugliness. So the last he created was beauty and ugliness. Naturally he gave beauty beautiful clothes, and to ugliness, ugly clothes. And he dropped them from the heaven to come to the earth. It is a long journey. And by the time they reached the earth, they were feeling tired, dusty. So the first thing they decided is to take a bath. It was early morning, the sun was just rising. They went to a lake and dropped their clothes on the bank and both jumped into the lake. It was really refreshing, cool, and they enjoyed. And Beauty went swimming far into the lake. When she looked back, she was surprised. Ugliness was missing. She came back and she found that her clothes are missing too. Then she understood what has happened. Ugliness has taken the clothes of beauty and ran away. The story ends since then. Ugliness is hidden in the clothes of beauty. And beauty is compulsorily wearing the clothes of ugliness. And running after her, searching. But she has not been able yet to find her. It is a beautiful story. Ugliness needs something to hide itself behind, to pretend, to have a false mask. Beauty had not thought about it at all. 
even the idea has not occurred to her that this is possible that ugliness will steal her clothes and run away. The man who has the heart throbbing with goodness, with blessings, feels no need that he has to be the president or the prime minister. He has no time to waste into this ugly game of power politics. He has enough energy that good brings with itself. He will create music, he will compose poetry, he will sculpt beauty in marble, he will do something for which power is not needed. All that is needed is already provided to him. That's the beauty of good, that it is intrinsically powerful. Let it be very clearly understood that anything that needs power from outside you can be certain it is not good. It is something which is intrinsically important. It will live on borrowed life. 